Max Clifford knows how to give the paparazzi their pictures. He's made a career out of getting celebrities into the spotlight, but today the publicist is the story. He's facing allegations of indecent assault. 11 counts against seven girls and young women over 20 years, from the mid-60s to the mid-80s. And this morning, Racina Cottage QC outlined the case against him. She told the jury, many of you will have heard the name Max Clifford. He's wealthy, he's well connected. He's a man called upon by television to speak about celebrity and media manipulation. He knows the strings to pull. He knows how to manipulate, lie and get what he wants. The Clifford publicity machine specialises in turning ordinary people into celebrities. Kerry Katona and Stacey Solomon both found themselves in the spotlight with Clifford's help. All his alleged victims say that he used his connections to impress them or to promise them work. The jury heard the defendant used his contact with famous people to bully and manipulate these young people into sexual acts with him. His office was his own sexual fiefdom. He toyed with their inexperience and treated them with contempt. The court heard it was in the wake of the Jimmy Savile scandal that Clifford's alleged victims began to come forward. One even saw him talking about it on breakfast TV. The prosecution pointed out several similarities in the accounts of the alleged victims. Many of them reported receiving phone calls at the time, peculiar phone calls, from men with Italian or American accents who would then ask in explicit detail about Mr Clifford. Many of them said they suspected it was Mr Clifford making those phone calls and putting on an accent. Max Clifford denies all the charges and had claimed he didn't know any of the women accusing him. Yesterday, he admitted he may have met two of them. Okay. He was described today as a breaker of reputations. He will continue to fight for his own on Monday. Dominic Reynolds, Channel 5 News.